In step two, you'll use a ruler to draw a three inch border around your paper. So I'm using an 11 inch by 14 inch piece of poster board. Poster board is that thick stuff that you buy for, you know, like science posters or history projects, things like that. It's usually about 50 cents at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General or Walmart, at a dollar at Walgreens. Anyway, so one sheet of poster board is 22 inches by 28 inches. It will make four pieces of 11 by 14. So we have 11 by 14 poster board that I cut down from a bigger one. So now I have four pieces from my one. So I'm going to start with my ruler and I'm going to find the zero. So here's the one. It's the long line next to the one. I want to find the zero and I'm going to match up the zero to the edge of the paper and I'm going to make a mark above the three. Now the three is here, but it's the long line next to the three that's actually three inches. So I'm going to make a little mark. I'm going to slide my paper up, slide my ruler down because I want two marks on each side. So match it with the zero and mark above this, the three. Turn the paper and do the same. And I'm gonna do this on all three, all four sides of the paper, not three. And it's very important that you do two marks on each side. If you don't, when you go to make lines, which is the next part of this, you could end up with crooked lines. Okay, once I have all of my little markings on all the way around the page, I'm simply going to take the ruler and line up the ruler next to the markings. So I've got a marking here and a marking here. I want to hold the ruler with my hand. I've got two, one or two fingers up here and a thumb down here. So I'm holding in two places, that way it doesn't tend to do this. And I'm kind of pushing down when I do that. So I'm lining up the ruler with those little marks that I made, and I'm making a line. I'm not doing this too terribly darkly, because I may have to erase part of this in just a little while. But I'm gonna go around and do each side to create a border. And it creates a rectangle in the center of our page. and becomes part of our design. Okay. And now we have our border. So our border is the part out here and we have an interior rectangle. I've gone over a little. I can just take my pencil and erase. And that's all for step two.